Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. WWA show, and as promised, I am gonna have a special guest tonight on the show. I never lied about that. And God damn it, we were screwed, Hanson. I don't know what we the damn problem is. A I want the. Uh, 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 I want a rematch with Beast Mode, man. That's bull. Said Hanson. I knew he stuck his nose in our business. Got no business. His problem with Ron. It isn't with the Illuminati, but he's made a problem with us now, brother. And we're gonna fuck him up. Oh. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Illuminati, uh, ladies and gentlemen, S and Thunder. Um, I was going to ask you guys uh, uh, to be a special guest on my show. I know you guys are furious at the moment because you guys lost. That because, but I was wondering if they would do you know, I know you're frustrated, but it's an okay if I can do it. What else would you do? Drink. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can't go back to jail Ladies and gentlemen, Thunder and Wade. Oh, Wade. Call me whatever you want, son. But you can call me the fucking next heavyweight champion, I'll tell you that, daddy. Actually, Pacific Northwest Belt? Yeah, shit. I don't know. I'm no bad blood. I don't know if I can Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Thunder and Hess, I've always been trying to get you guys on the show for a while, but I understand this is schedule. And that's why we're here tonight, because we actually figured we needed to sit down with you and actually do this. Yes. Um, I wanted to know, like, from you guys, like, uh, how long have you guys been wrestling? Like, because I've, I've watched you guys, and I look up to you, and I expect to like, you know, what you guys done, or the people, or whatever. You guys are always the most entertaining guys on the show. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's very, we appreciate that call. Thank you. Thank you for the show. You know, to, to answer your question, shit, I've been doing it for about 11 years, I think. But I've always kind of lucked out because I've always had the big man here. And I've always just worked under him as a rookie. I'm an 11-year rookie, brother. <laughs> you guys had the most violent match, too. I, I saw him. That's what happens when you don't listen to him. You both in matches like that, and he kicks the shit out of you with broken glass. That's why I pay attention now. I'm the one that got hurt. He broke my hand, he broke my knee. I was I was one that was laid up for a while. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. Yeah, he did that. Well, I guess that's yeah. that the student who was the Well, actually, my brother Lee Rumble, too. Yeah. yeah. Top of that. So. Uh, you guys started the Illuminati, now the Klan. Uh, you guys are pretty much like trying to take over the Pacific Northwest Company, right? Because you guys took over DOA pretty much already. Now you're here at the NWWA. You guys are trying to take over, right? Well, yeah. You know, takeover or whatever you want to call it, what we do is we go out there and we have the time of our lives. And it doesn't matter if we're out there trying to make you hate us and make you love us. Either way, we're out there to have a good time. And if it just happens to skyrocket us until it's taken over the show, then it does. Being whatever. Being the main event, event or or having belts or not having belts or still being the main event, it just goes up. Yeah. We, you know, we have, we have, you know, one thing is we play off each other so well, and that's why we enjoyed and stayed together the tag team so long or been kind of where he goes, I go or vice versa, is because we go out we just you know, go front. We are constantly happy the time. Yeah, I remember uh, you teamed up with Rose Boy Animal and you faced Matt Bourne one time. Oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's kind of actually I faced Matt Bourne for a week fucking straight. <laughs> uh, but you know what's awesome man and wrestling legends like that are great because it's a it's a memory I'm gonna cherish forever and ever. I'll never forget sitting in the back Drinking uh, Crown and Coke with Matt and getting just four fucked up and going out there and wrestling. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, and then after the show, it's like you're driving thunder. I was like, 
Yeah. 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 Well, it's first. Don't drink the drive. And me with animal. I mean, I grew up idolizing the Warriors. I mean, though that was the tag. I mean, and to be in a, a dominating tag team and the wrestle with that man, that was like a dream come true. I will never forget that. Now, be like one of my favorite top three matches I've ever done. I've been, yeah. That's one of the highlights I can tell you. That. My yeah. highlight for me when I was a kid is when I got to meet first. Uh, I was in yeah. seventh grade. <laughs> Uh, you know, really, it, it, it was a shocker, uh, and, it, and it really for us, it, it boils down to, not about how we're doing, I mean, it sucks, and it's a big loss for the entire wrestling community, but most of all, we all have to remember that uh, Riley Piper was a family man, and he had a family, and it's a huge loss for that family, and, uh, and Katie and Cole, and Sarah, we loved them so much. And it really, it's not about the loss and how we're handling Piper, but it's how they're doing. They're doing it. And yeah. we are worried about them. And yeah. We check on us to make sure whenever we see them, we check on us how they're doing. It, it, it is very sad because even with my son, who was part of the show and you know, all that, he, you know, he went with us to the funeral and was there. And, and his son Dominic was at the funeral also. And it was, it was amazing to be a part of it and see. It was very sad. And we are. All concerned, it affected my, my son, and his son, both of us. But we are very, you know, make sure that his family is doing well. What was it like working with my Never a dull moment. Not a one. Uh, no. You know, uh, they say that uh, to be a good fish, take a little piece of yourself and turn the volume way up. Piper didn't have to. Hey! We're cutting a promo over here! <laughs> You're fucking gonna. <laughs> You're fucking gonna. Uh, don't make them mad already. They're mad already. I don't want them even more mad. But the key is, is, is Piper didn't have to turn himself up. Piper was that guy all the time, anyhow. Uh, never do man. Never do But you know, behind the scenes, I would love to watch him and Cole together. I always think that's a great bond. And they had such a great interaction together. And you can truly see how much you love yourself. And he was passing on what he had onto his son and instilling that in him. And then you go up behind the curtain and it's just like, bam, all the way up. And he was just like, wow, this guy back here is being so mellow for a moment. All of a sudden, he's just going that shit crazy out here. It was crazy. <laughs> but he, that's, that's an amazing guy. Yeah, and totally. Everything that came from the man was heartfelt, you know. And, it, and he, he took it, good care of us. Yeah, you knew it when he grabbed you up and he kissed you on the head and he said, I love you, I love you, kid. And it <laughs> no, absolutely meant. amazing. You, you can feel it, you can feel it from the heart. Yeah. Every time. Every time he spoke to us, he spoke from the heart. Yeah, it's like when I first came, it was at the first sleep. I don't know. Back in 2006. When I got to my house, he was one of the I would, I would say, Cole, he'd walk up and want to use my son Bobo for some of the parts of the show. He was like, I'll take care of him. I'm like, I, I know you. <laughs> I'm like, what? What the hell is asking that question? Yeah, I go, why are you asking? I see you with your son. I'm telling you, why are you asking me? I know you're going to take care of my son. And he adored my son. And my son loved him so much. He was just, he treated him. Like all right, well, my last question for you guys is, I don't know if this is a tough one. Uh, well, actually, two of you, okay. What is your guys' favorite match at the team or Sam's competition? Well, because I already know my, my favorite is when you face Matt Hart and Because you beat them out. Get out. And then you got screwed out of the match. Wow, that's. I just thought about that match today. It was really crazy. I don't know how that my head. You must have read my mind. You know, I, I think one of my favorite matches of singles was when we did that Taipei death match. Because it's never going to be duplicated. Yeah. You know, and that's easy to say now that the match is over. It's way easy to say I like it now. Seen it then? then not no, so much. Because no, no. we were both. I was uh, pretty destroyed after that match. Yeah, definitely. But I, I would say for me, a match, one of the matches I'll never forget is that because of what what we did, and I feel, I use the word feel, we wrestled. We did hardcore, and we did a bunch of crazy stuff and made it all work into a match. And that was just and bloody and gory, but it was also a wrestling match.
time now, too. But for me, that is something that you can't do. Yeah, I saw the match on YouTube, right? That was awesome. Yeah, you can. I mean, it is for, I don't know. In the, in, the, in the team department, I, I had an absolutely amazing time going to California and wrestling um, with the Honor Society. Yes, Sam yes. Ryan and Kate Frost. Those guys are so up the hook, and they them, them themselves are just outlandish characters of life, man. And that, that was a good time. Shit, they had fans getting involved in the fan that tried to tag with them. Yeah. yeah. When the fans get up on the ring, it was like, we have to drop one of those guys. It was the guy that was... Uh, and they were looking at dudes like, maybe they were supposed to tag him in. Like, yeah, I didn't know. Because you know? <laughs> that was the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you were trying to say you were fucking his old lady. Yes. But no, I mean, that was a good, amazing, yeah. I don't know what he was tag match. I mean, what... So you guys won the DOA tag team shit. That was my favorite. You guys do what you think. Patrick and Ricky at the Kaiser show when they first announced that they were retired. I, 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 do, I, have, I have it on recording. No, Jeremy Blanchard's knocked me out twice since then. That's just how many times he's done it. <laughs> I'm old and I don't remember that. <laughs> well, see, look, I recall your guys. As I do remember now. we had a great time wrestling uh, Exile and Dr. Cleaver. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when I told my hands. Yes. I, I I don't know if anybody knows this. I'm telling you guys right now. <laughs> Wrestling Dr. Cleaver Exile, the first time we wrestled. We're out there moving a bunch of stuff. I go to pick it next up in the sandbags. I go to, I, I'm trying to get him up for bias on these sandbags, and all of a sudden I felt something rip the back of the leg and I just dropped. So what's he doing? He puts me in this weird crab position. He thinks it's my knee. It's really I tore my hamstring. And I laid there on the ground and I finally got them off me. I'm laying there, I'm like, I don't know if I can get up and fucking finish the match. And I, I finally got up and I'm like, Come on, let's go. And I finished wrestling with like another seven minutes of a match with my hamstring. And the dive spots. Yeah. yeah. I had the dive spots. I saw that with the torn, my hamstring completely torn off. Which after I went to my doctor, my doctor said that is the most painful tear anybody could ever have on their body. And I told him I finished wrestling. He's like, how do you walk? I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> you know, walking, I finished it. But now you got it. After the match, after the match, I can't walk because it's funny and thrilling. It come down and I'm in the back and I can't walk in my car alone. I, mean, I can't put any weight up because the muscles gone. I can't even move. So exile, and yes, grab me on each side, my arms on their shoulders. They carry me to the car, singing "I Will Always Love You" by Whitney Houston, and serenading me all the way to the car, singing that song. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very touching. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, my next question, my last one is, what is next? Uh, brother, we're just about running hot wild all the time. Uh, it's really easy to pick what's next for us because it's whatever's going to make a smile on our face. Uh, we're going to run wild in NWWA. We're probably going to pop over to Red Pro where it's outlandish. We'll run wild there. We'll take a spin back around and go to DOA and just kind of mix things up around there. As long as we're having fun, we're getting to go crazy. And that's what's next for But wherever people want us to go, we'll always be part of it. In WWE, DOA, and Rev Pro, or whoever else wants to go, we'll go because we, we enjoy actually hanging out, spending time together, and feeding off each other, and just going to get good stuff. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, this shit's for real, brother. Oh, I know that. 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 It's just that it bugs me with fans or something like wrestling I was like, you get it on us sometimes. And it's not just the moves and headlocks and the punches, but the connections that are made inside the squared circle. That shit lasts your life. It's real. It's real. It's real. I tell you, it that hurts like a son of a bitch. <laughs> Talk to these guys. Uh, well, actually, don't go for you guys. They might hurt you. Drink. Because one, it's just that I, I do admire you guys. I respect your work. I watch your matches. Well, this is what I do. Sometimes when I go watch a wrestling show, even if it's bad or good or something, I still watch and I study it. Even though I'm not planning to go into the ring, but when I watch and I still study wrestling, I love this baby. I love this baby. I love this baby. I love this baby. I'm on 15, so Oh yeah, we'll get rid of that. I guarantee you. I promise that. But you know, all against Jason. You're damn right. You're damn right. If Jason can hold on, if Jason can hold on to my Pacific Northwest heavyweight title long enough, he'll be sorry because Cripple Blade has a role in that ring and whooped the shit out of his big fat ass. I promise you that. And you got a problem with Pugsley too. 
I'm not done with that pump <laughs> right yet. <laughs> well, guys, I think thank you, you Josh. I thank really you. do appreciate thank it. You. Uh, thank you. Know. Thank you. You guys have a good night. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, Josh. Yeah. That was the Illuminati, guys, everybody. Hey, That's guys, awesome. it's your birthday. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy they didn't kill me. I'm really happy. <laughs> But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was Illuminati. I'm happy I got them on my show. And, uh, the, hey, everybody, it's the birthday boy. What's up? Roy Lovejoy. And also, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, the next NWA show is on November 14th. My birthday! <laughs> and I'll say this. I am a devil, I am a devil, I am a devil, and I am here to do the devil's work.